So today I was talking to one of my mentees about people stealing your deals. And I know this is a big fear for a lot of people, which is why I'm making this video with no YouTube background. I'm just out here talking because I think it's so important to understand that when you're new to a market and you're not really sure what properties are worth, or what somebody would pay, you're gonna have to have conversations with buyers to figure it out, right? And you can't be in the scarcity mindset that someone's gonna steal your deal or else you're never gonna be willing to give up the address or give the information. Number one, it makes people sketched out about you when you're untrusting and you don't wanna give the address because you're worried someone's gonna steal your deal. But number two, you also lose credibility and you kind of annoy the actual real buyers in the market that would actually buy the deal if it was a deal. If someone tells me, hey, I have a deal, here's the zip code, here is exactly what the property is like but won't give me the address, I can't really go off of that. I can't really make an offer or tell you what I would buy it for if I don't know the exact address because the parcel number, um, the bedroom bathrooms, the square footage, the, the amount of land that the property is sitting on, the type of property that it is, all of these things are factors, right? So it's really important to not have that scarcity mindset, but a good rule of thumb, if you are going in Facebook groups and you are going to um, maybe RIAs or InvestorLift or any of these type of buyer platforms and you are talking to buyers about your deal, a good rule of thumb, especially in Facebook and these other groups is number one, do they have an actual real name um, on Facebook? Like Joe Smith, you know what I mean? A real first name, last name and not like some fake made up name that's a pretty good rule of thumb make sure they have a real name um make sure that they actually are in other investor groups in the area search what they've posted in that group and see um are they commenting on other people's deals are they actually buying look at their facebook profile you know do a little recon give them a call talk to them on the phone just get a good vibe in your gut that they're a real person, that they're a real buyer. It's pretty clear to tell who a real buyer is because they're gonna know that zip code, they're gonna know that market, they're gonna sound super legit. So when you do get on the phone with a real buyer or are messaging a real buyer and you get on the phone and now it's time to send them the information, be forthcoming and be transparent. I got on a phone call with the buyer today and I just told him, hey, I have these two lots under contract just at, uh, at 30K what do you think? And he said, well, if they were in this zip code, I would pay 35K for each of them. That's what we're buying. But because it's in that zip code, mm, send me the addresses. Let me check them out. Send him the addresses. And, you know, we're going from there. He had a first name and a last name. His Facebook profile looked legit. And I literally just went into a Facebook group in that market, looked at other people who have bought and commented on similar properties and reached out to all the people who had commented on similar properties it's literally that simple but if i was like paranoid that he was going to steal the deal and i didn't do that then i could potentially lose out on a real buyer um i could potentially make him think that i'm you know on some weird stuff so it is important to be transparent and to not be like looking over your shoulder for the next person to seal your deal. I know, trust me, because I've been there, especially when you're virtually wholesaling, it can be a little nervous making to just be giving out these information to these strangers, but trust your gut, trust God, you know, the deals that are for you are for you. You have to be willing to give to get, so don't be so withholding of information. Trust, verify that they're a real buyer, make sure that they seem legit, but then give the information. Second thing is, Make sure that your relationship with the seller is good enough that they won't let somebody go behind your back. And that's my two cents. Happy Monday, everyone. See you guys next time.